Here's what Chief Olushe Gwobasanjo says regarding section agitators and um, those who want Nigeria to divide. He has really spoken and um, I think his words should be looked into because um, he has an opinion. Uh, because, I mean, you know, he was asked the other day in um, in Sokoto as he heard about the Oduduwa and um, Biafra and everything. I said no. He just said no. That was rather very, uh, you just know that an elder does not want to talk. You know, when I was much younger, uh, my parents used to, you know, as a child, would warn us. Said when somebody asks you something, if you don't want, to, if you don't have to say anything, if you don't know, if you if you have to think about what an adult is asking you, just say I don't know. I don't know saves you a lot of you know trying to ration think about it. How do I put it together? I don't know. That was what Olushe Basanjo did. Anyway, my people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's understand what is really going on today. Minority group will be opposed if Nigeria breaks up. Olushe Basanjo warns section agitators. Former President Olushe Basanjo has called on the groups pushing for the breakup of Nigeria to consider that minority ethnic groups would be opposed if the agitation came through. Obasan just spoke on the subject while receiving members of TIV professional group at his residence in Abiyokota, Ogun State on Wednesday, while relaying the position of a military friend of his. Obasanjo expressed fear that those beating drums of division in the country do not have the interest of the minority group at heart. And he, military friend, would say to him, if the Yorubas can stand as a country, if the Igbos can stand as a country, if the Hausa Strokfulanis can stand as a country, if you, if you major tribes decide to break up from the country, where do you want the minority, the minority ethnic group to stand? That many Nigerians don't know about. Unfortunately, the former commander in chief had said, Where do you want these minority groups to stand? Where do they start from? Now they are by the verge of Nigerians' presence, situated a little bit but protected. If they become alone, do you think they can stand? alone? Will they not become vulnerable? But if Nigeria break up, there are, in a smaller country, they will be opposed because they are few. They will always be exterminated. Are you not thinking of that, that they will be picked on? I believe that if we get it right in Nigeria, any leader must look for Nigeria with the promise of the diversity that makes us one. For as long as you look at Nigeria with the promise of an ethnic group, then you aren't going anywhere. That's what is wrong with this very present administration. Either your ethnic group or religious group, and you take them up to become what is the model for Nigeria, you have failed already from the start. This administration has shown to Nigeria that they have no really real understanding of the diversity of ethnic group. When I was the president, I did not pick on my ethnic group to favor them. And even those after me, even that which was after me, did not pick on his ethnic group to be a particular group. That was why we had a bit of stability and the government could go on. If you pick on your ethnic group, your religion people, to become the model and wrong and not punished, crimes are not investigated and brought to justice, this is what we have today in Nigeria. Speaking further on the coming general election in 2023, Olusegun expressed hope that the country could experience a fresh start amidst the several challenges bewailing the nation. I do believe that whatever whatever else we do, we have to make the year 2023 a water shield for Nigeria. The year 2023 should give us the beginning of the emergence of a new federation, he added. So this is what Olusegun Basanjo is saying. And you could see if you listen properly, you will hear a wise man speaking about the problem of this very current administration. When you come in and you take your ethnic group as the foundation, you are a failure from the start. Mm, you are a failure. You failed already. 
when you come in, you come in on a neutral ground. All things bright and beautiful, all creation, God made them all. So if you have that at your at the front of your mind, that we are all one people, God made us all, and uh, Nigeria is a country of diversity. Nigeria has different ethnic group, and everybody has an interest, and those interests must be recognized. You have you have started on a platter of gold, because everybody will feel included. Listen, guys, let's let's just be rational for a minute. If, for instance, Buhari came in, hmm, let's just think about it logically, and chief of armed staff, say from the north, defense from the south, uh, air force from the east, um, Nava from the midwest. Do you see what I'm saying? Imagine how it will be. Just imagine how it will be. Then when this one is this, if the if the if for instance the chief of defense for instance is from the uh, is from the south, the uh, assistant is from the north. Then the when the uh, when the when the head for instance Nava is from the north, the assistant is from the east. You know when the when the heir of uh, when this chief of army is from the east, the assistant is from the south. Just imagine, just imagine how everyone will feel included. Just imagine the 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 unism. With everybody speaking with one voice, wanting to belong, everybody part of it, everybody excited to give their quarter, where where justice, where there is truth, where there is, you know, one voice, people are, you know, and voices are being heard. When Nigerians make a complaint, the government comes out and said, okay, we've heard your, we've heard your, we've heard your agitation, we've heard your cry. Uh, could you put yourselves together and um, g pick a leader for yourself, get us your suggestion, uh, what are your ideas, we'll set up a committee to look into those agitation, your ideas will be looked at, and then um, when those committees set up, look into those various, um, you know, constitutions, they now come together, or whatever the problem that have been outlined or laid out, they now come together and say, yes, this was what was discussed, this were the highlights, we had 20 points, but we reduced it to 5, saying the 5 is the most important, we've atomized them out, these and these are these are the five salient points and he said okay what have, what do you think then whichever legislative body comes upon and said yes this was the issue of march 14th uh, we have now looked at it and uh, we've resolved with all that was tabled we came up with this uh we want to get they will not get what we call a feedback form what do people feel are they satisfied guess what nigeria is already on her way to better days but when you have people who said my religion my region are uh, trouble Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.